Hi everyone, so today we are going to learn the bobble boat and bobble anchor baby blanket today. On this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the bobble boat. I'll show you how to colour change and then the next tutorial will be uploaded for the anchor. So to start off with the bobble boat, we need a chain of 30. So I'll do my chain of 30 and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I've done my chain of 30. We're using a size 4 hook. I don't know if you can see that. We're using DK yarn <coughs> from Home and Bargains. Okay, so we have our chain 30. We're going to our second chain. We do a single crochet. Carry on all the way along until you have 29 single crochets. We need three rows of the single crochet. So you do your chain 30. Go into your second loop of the chain, follow it all along, that now gives us a chain of 29. So we need three rows of these 29 single crochet. So I'll do my three rows. At the end of each row, chain one, turn your work, 29 more single crochet, chain one, turn your work. 29 more single crochet. So do your three rows and I shall meet you back at the end of my third row. Okay, so I've done my three rows of single crochet. So that's row one, two and three. We're now chain one, turn our work. We're now onto row just going to take these off as I go along. Row four, which is eight single crochet. seven bobbles in between each bobble we do a single crochet so we do our first bobble make sure the six loops on the up Yarn over, pull them all off, close off, single crochet, second bubble, so Single crochet, third bubble, single crochet. Fourth bubble, single 
single crochet fifth bubble single crochet sixth bubble single crochet seventh bubble One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We finish off with eight single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. So it now should look like this. So we are now on row three, four, row five, which is 29 single crochet all the way along. I'll just show you, I'll do these first few stitches and show you how we go into the back of the bubbles. Sorry, excuse me, Sir Finn, I've got a cold. Always go into this stitch which is single crochet right before the bubble. We have two stitches at the back. So at the back here, just put it open like that, forward, get your hook, push it in. It's like a V stitch and just do a single crochet. Go down into your single crochet. And look at the back of the bobble again, you see like a V-shape just here. So you put your hook in there and do your single crochet. Always remember to go down and do your single crochet in the middle of the bubbles. Okay, so I should continue this row, which is 29 single crochet. And I will meet you back at the end. row six do not chain one six single crochet a bubble Fifteen single crochet. Okay, so I'll do the fifteen single crochet and meet you back on the fifteenth stitch. So I've done the fifteen single crochet. We now do another bubble.
six more single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. So it should now be looking like that. Row seven, 29 more single crochet. So do your chain one, 29 more single crochet. This is for row seven. So I shall do this row and meet you back at the end. Sorry, just for a start this row, always remember this is your first stitch. We always go into this very first stitch down here under the chain one. Okay, so I'll do my 29 single crochet and meet you back at the end. We're now on row eight. Do your chain one. So that. Then we do four single crochet. Bobble. Nineteen single crochet. So I'll do my nineteen single crochet and meet you back on the nineteenth stitch. So I've done my nineteenth single crochet. We now do another bobble. Four more single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. So it should now be looking like this. Row nine. I'm ticking these off as I go along, ladies, so I don't get confused. I did miss a couple of rows out in one of my last tutorials. So row nine. 29 more single crochet all the way along. So I'll do my 29 and meet you back at the end. So I've done my 29 single crochet. We're now on row 10. Three single crochet. We now need 12 bubbles. In between the bubbles, we need one single crochet. So we'll do our first bubble. Single crochet, second bubble, single crochet, third bubble. So it takes a while to work up because obviously we're doing 12 bubbles, single crochet, fourth bubble,
single crochet do our fifth bubble Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Sixth bubble. Single crochet. Seventh bubble, single crochet, eighth bubble. Single crochet, ninth bubble, single crochet, tenth bubble. Single crochet, eleventh bubble, single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bubble. Then finish off with three single crochet. Let's do your twelfth bubble, finish off. With three single crochet. So we've finished off with our last three single crochet. We're now on row 11. Chain one, do another row of 29 single crochet. So this is row 11. I'll meet you back at the end. So I've done the 29 single crochet. We're now on row 12, which is 11 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A bubble. We then finish off with 17 single crochet all the way along. 
So I'll do my 17 single crochet and meet you back at the end. So it should now be looking like this. We are now on row, just on row 13. No, we haven't. We're just on row 12. 11 single crochet, a bobble, 17 single crochet. Row 13. 29 single crochet. So row 12 was 11 single crochet, bobble, 17 single crochet. Row 13, 29 more single crochet. All the way along so I'll do my and meet back at the end so I've done my row of 29 single crochet we are now on row 14 11 single crochet A bobble just making sure that matches up with the bobble underneath let's get some yarn So we need six of these bobbles. We've done our first bobble. Single crochet. Do our second bobble. Single crochet, do our third bobble, single crochet, do our fourth bobble. Single crochet, do our fifth bubble, single crochet do our sixth bubble we then finish off with seven single crochet. Seven single crochet. So row 14 was 11 single crochet, bobble, 
single crochet bobble 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 seven single crochet row 15 29 more single crochet so I shall finish row 15 then meet you back at the end So now I'm low 16, 11 single crochet, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Just count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We then do a bobble. We then do eight single crochet. A bubble. So if I keep going quiet, I'm looking to the side of me because I've got my graph at the side of me. So I'm following the pattern from that graph. Then finish off with eight single crochet. chain one turn your work so it should now be looking like this there's the bottom of the boat this bit here is going to be the sail like the flag kind of shape because it taking place now so that was row 16 we are now on row 17 29 more single crochet so i shall do mine and meet you back at the end row 18 11 single crochet three four do that one again it's got caught snagged so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and the bubble now we need seven single crochet Another that was seven now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bobble.
finish it off with nine single crochet okay so I should do my nine single crochet and meet you back at the end so now I should be looking something like this we are now on row 19 29 more single crochet I said do my 29 and then meet you back at the end. We are now on row 20, we've done our chain one. We need 11 more single crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. A bubble. Six single crochet, a bubble. I've done that wrong let's just double check okay so we're going to pull that back to low 20 was it 11 single crochet a bubble six single crochet two three four five six a bubble then 10 more single crochet so row 20 11 single crochet bubble 6 single crochet bubble 10 more single crochet so I shall do my 10 single crochet and I shall meet you back at the end so your work should now be looking like this we're now on row 21 29 more single crochet so I shall do there and meet you back at the end this is row 21 row 22 11 single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven a bubble Five single crochet. A bubble. Followed by 11 more single crochet. 
So I shall crochet these 11 and meet you back at the end. We're now on row 23, 29 more single crochet all the way along. I shall meet you back at the end. Row 24, 11 single crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, a bubble, Get this knot out so this is where I wish I had nails. There we go. Row 25, 29 single crochet, no, we're still on row 24 aren't we, sorry, so this is me still getting used to this pattern and when I talk then I get confused, so we are on actually row 24. Which is 11 single crochet, bobble, 4 single crochet, bobble, 12 single crochet so finish your 12 single crochet 12 single crochet so row 24 row 25 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 all the way along so I shall do these and meet you back at the end so this is row 25 row 26 11 single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, bobble. Three single crochet, bobble,
we finish off with 13 single crochet so I'll crochet these along with yourselves this is why I don't like talking in between these rows especially with the bobbles because I lose either lose track of where I am or I miss a row out so I just like to stay quiet normally when I do these um, bobble graphs chain one turn our work so it should be looking now like this so you can actually see the boat coming along now so row 27 it's 29 more single crochet so i shall do this row and meet you back at the end row 28 11 single crochet bubble two single crochet a bubble And we finish on 14 single crochet. Once I've finished this boat with yourselves, I will just quickly show you how to colour change. To the next colour, I'm going to do the anchor in grey this time. Last, last time I did it in blue. Um, so I'll show you how to colour change. We'll do a few rows of single crochet and then on the second tutorial that will be the actual design for the anchor and how we sew the panels together with single crochet there's lots of tutorials what I've got where you can sew the panels together and um, but I will when I upload the second tutorial I will show you quickly how to sew them together again so this first tutorial is for the boat and how we could have changed the second one will be the anchor bubble design and then how we quickly join them together in the panels okay so we just finished that row so it should be looking like this now So our next row is row 29, 29 more single crochet all the way along. So I meet you back at the end. So we're now on row 30, 11 single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, a bubble, single crochet
bubble. Then we finish off with 15 single crochet. So I shall do my 15 single crochet and meet you back at the end. Row 31, 29 more single crochet. I'll crochet these and meet you back at the end. So this is row 31. Row 32, 11 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, bobble, seventeen single crochet. So row 32, 11 single crochet, a bobble, 17 single crochet. So I'll do these and meet you back at the end. So that is the boat finished. We are now going to finish it off with three rows of single crochet. So I should do me three rows, I'll meet you back at the end and then I will show you how to do the colour change. So three rows of single crochet. So that will be row 33, 34 and 35. Three rows of single crochet. Okay, so we are on our very last row of single crochets, which is row 35. I'm on the very last stitch. So we have our last stitch right just here. So to cut a change, we put our hook in, pull our yarn under, put it up so we have two loops on the hook. We then get our next colour. You can do your anchor in any colour you want, to be fair. I did my first one in blue, I'm doing this one in grey. So we just wrap the yarn over, pull these two loops over. It will be a bit loose, this first stitch, but we tighten them up afterwards. This way you see now, you can't see where you've changed the colour by doing it like this. We then chain one. Turn our work. Then go back down into that very first stitch. Do our first single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this row of grey is going to be the top row. Sorry, the very bottom row of the start of the anchor. So we'll have our boat, three single crochets at the top of the boat. And this will be the very first row of that anchor panel going up. We will be doing four rows for the bottom of the anchor. So what I like to do now is just, you can pull these ends in tight now and just put a little knot in or it just keeps them together. So that is how you colour change. So I'll do these four rows of single crochet.
So remember, this is the very start of the bottom of the anchor. If I try to do the anchor in this tutorial, it's going to be another over an hour long. The anchor does take a while to do because there's so many bubbles in it, a lot more than this boat um, one we've just done. So the, it, there will be a part two to this for the anchor and how we join the panels together, which is really easy. It's just with a single crochet. So we chain one, turn our work, and that is how it's looking. So I'll do three more rows quickly. I'll stop here on the fourth row. Once I've finished it, I'll come back. So there you go, there is the bubble boat. We have our four rows of single crochet at the top in grey, which is going to be the bottom panel for the anchor, which I'm going to upload tomorrow. You could do it in any colour you want. Like I said, the first blanket I did was, I did the boat in white and the anchor in blue. This one is going to be boat in white and that anchor in grey. I will be doing it four squares in um, length and four panels across. So in the anchor tutorial, I should show you how to make that. We've shown you how to do the colour change. If you look just here, so you can't see the colour change. You then just, like I say, these two ends at the side, you just pull them slightly together. And then you can knot them after us and sew them in once we put the border on. I will do a tutorial for the border also for this. It'll be the same one as what I normally do. So if you just check out all the other tutorials, it's the block stitch border. So I hope you like it. You don't have to do the anchor, you can pick another graph if you want to a boat and another scene to go with it. Um, I am looking for more graphs for um, sea varieties. Uh, a lot of people seem to like this style. So yeah, there we go. Hope you like the tutorial. Any questions? Uh, just pop a comment down in the comment box. I will get back to you. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope you like the video. Thank you. Bye.